We've turned the form around. The league's going well. European football looks like we're going to go through. I don't think that really makes sense, but roll the intro. Hello and welcome back to the NK Zaga Save. I am Cultured Left Foot. And yes, um, what we've done is go back to not having a libero and playing the formation that all the players know... And it's gone quite well. Um, no, Thompson's come back in the team, which has made a big difference. He just makes everything tick. And we've just changed a few things around in terms of what we do defensively, what we're doing on the attack, uh, and then some of the roles we have as well. So, yeah, we've got rid of the Mazala. We're now playing a formation to keep the ball at a low tempo and basically pass it around teams, which is what we did uh, a few seasons back. And we've gone back to that, and it's working very well. We're on a six-game unbeaten streak in the league, so or maybe an eight-game unbeaten streak, six games winning streak, I can't remember. Um, five five games won in a row, I don't know, something like that. But yeah, I mean, we were last together for the loss to Juventus, 3-0. Uh, we then drew with Heyduk 1-1, which was a little bit annoying, but we came back in. We beat Dynamo on penalties. Uh, Harry Winks missed our only penalty, and now he's retired. Um, 2 nil win against Oscar. A 1-0 win at home against Juventus. Uh, did we deserve it? I'm not 100% sure. Um, if we look at the stats. So, 14 to their 13. 8 to 5 on target. No yellow cards for anyone. But... Um, we did we did well. I mean, Gonzalez getting a 7.1 sort of suggests, you know, we were under the cosh a bit. But uh, we did well. Marco Antonio getting the goal. So that has pretty much seen us qualify from the group. We just... I mean, we've played Juventus twice. We've got Moscow today, beat them, and we're through, which is great. If we go through top of the group, that's even better. It'd be such an improvement as well if we go through top of the group from previous years. We've beaten Solin, 3-0. Contreras getting two and Tosic getting one. 4-0 we beat Rodez. Thompson getting two, Souza and Milan from a corner. Uh, and today, yeah, we're playing Moscow and then Istadat as well. But uh, all in all, it's going pretty well. We've got the easiest draw in the cup as well. We've got Kurlivec, who are a Division 3 West team. So we really should be smashing them quite easily. They are in good form at the top of the division. So... They're doing well, not lost the game all season, and they've got through the cup, so they literally haven't lost the game all season, which is good. It'll be a good competition, but we're going well. Players are coming back to fitness. DJ Como is back, although he is lacking a bit of match sharpness, but he is picking it up every game he plays, which is good. But yeah, Mark Thompson being back is absolutely huge. He's just so, so good for us. Um, I'm surprised he doesn't have a higher value, only being 26 you know, very good player, important for us. Um, definitely a first-teamer. The back four is doing really well. Benkovic and Veselinovic, I should never have broken them up. But I've it's gone back to, to form because uh, Hernandez, Rigani and Winks have all retired because we got past uh, the date in November when they were going to retire. So they've all gone. Um, yeah, which which I'm not too fussed about, to be honest. It's, it's, uh, it's going okay. We are on the lookout for... Possibly a new centre back in the January transfer window, but we'll have to see how it goes because we don't have the most money. We can afford to save a bit of money for this year as well. Uh, I'm just going to say they've lost three of the last four games. Let's pile on the misery because, you know, we're at home. We pretty much destroyed them away from home. So I'm hoping that at home we can go out there and do it relatively easy. Uh, we're looking forward to put a dent in their form. Let me just check. Extended replay events for goals is on. I don't want to get done by that again as Fude runs forward. But I'm looking for us to make an impact here. Surge is knackered already. 77% in the middle of the park for them. Uh, obviously Surge and Golovin, they're better players. So we just need to make sure that we you know, keep them quiet. And then we should be okay. But already 10 minutes gone. Not too much is happening. They're sitting in a 4-1-4-1 and just literally keeping men behind the ball. Why have we got double the same things here so yeah I mean it would be good if we could get a win today it would really put the pressure on Porto uh, in their game against Juventus to, to match our result but so far it's been pretty quiet let's just up it to attacking just uh, try and take the game to Moscow a little bit more we can up the tempo if needs be but I, I like this slow tempo that we're playing it lets us keep the ball and move them around and when they're playing two banks of four and one holding midfielder that really does help to do that, like to 
put the put the pitch make the pitch a little bit wider with our wingers uh, and the inside forwards not cutting in till late and then keeping the ball um, and just lowering it down, moving it around as that was a good ball in from Milan. It falls to Torres on the edge. Marco Antonio into Fode. His shot is pretty poor to be honest and it bends it quite far wide but we do seem to be making a difference now we've gone up to attacking. Um, Juventus have been thoroughly disappointing in this group. They really, really have. Let's go and have a quick look around the other groups. So Man United are through... Oh, that's it. We can only see R2 because we're probably the only two playing today. So Man United are through. I think Bayer Leverkusen will be through as well. As Thompson hits a free kick. It's off the post. Dear Giacomo. Oh, what a save from Marcin in the goal there for CSK Moscow. Keeps it at a nil-nil. And uh, we're just trying to rev them up a little bit. So Tosic has been booked. Um, yeah, we can tell him to ease off tackles for now. We've taken off Get Stuck In because... Well, frankly, I was getting pissed off with Torres getting sent off all the time, which I know a couple of you have commented on uh, in the previous videos. But uh, Foro picks up a yellow card as well. Again, it's our strikers that are just lacking, uh, just struggling to get into the game a bit. So I'm wondering if we, we'll just up the tempo a little bit. Um, we're trying to go to the flanks a bit earlier on. You can see we've stopped paying off side trap and stuff. We've stopped pushing up too much. Let's go a little bit wider. Uh, just make those changes just before half time. But, you know, we haven't given them a shot. We've had nine shots, five on target. Their goalkeeper's playing well on a 7.1. So, all in all, we are bossing this game, and it's good. Now, if you haven't gone and checked out the latest Football Talk podcast, the link is in the description, I think. And it might not be. It might be to the side of my channel. Um, go and check it out. Loki Doki, huge football manager YouTuber, like 40,000 subscribers, is our guest co-host with me. And uh, it was so much fun talking to him about all things to do with football. It was it was really good. So I'm going to say I'm far from pleased. That fires them up and hopefully that will go and give them a bit of impetus to go and get the goal. As uh, they go all the way back to their centre-backs from kickoff. But yeah, chatting to Loki about Liverpool, Man United, Man City, Spurs. It was great fun. Absolutely great fun to, to see it and uh, to do it with him. Do it with him? That sounds dodgy. It was great fun to have him on the podcast um, and chat away. And we ended up chatting for an hour and a half, which is a lot longer than we normally do on the pod. Uh, right, Ford 8 is going to come off and be replaced by Loader. DJ Curran is going to come off and be like Tesla. And we're actually going to go for a brand new front three and hope that that makes a bit of difference. And we'll use all our subs up in the 55th minute. Um, it's just been a bit of a woeful attacking display from both teams, really. I mean, Moscow have done nothing. And our front three really haven't been working all that well. Um which is a bit annoying, I say, because we've been in very, very good form. So let's up the tempo. Let's go a little bit more standard in our in our attack. Let's distribute it quickly. We'll get it. We'll get this. We'll get it going. Let's try and close them down a little bit. We don't need to go so far up, but we're just going to try and keep them. I mean, they're not coming out of their half, really. Uh, Milan Thompson. Milan Thompson. Oh, Simeonovic picks up the loose ball. Out to Benkovic. Into Torres. To Antonio. Out to Milan on the right-hand side. Ball across. Tesla with the header over the bar. I mean, we are battering them. <laughs> we are absolutely battering them. We just can't put the ball in the back of the net. Which is always a problem um, in the game of football. You sort of need to be able to, to do that. That's part of the key thing about football. And this is why I host a football, talk, um, a football podcast. Because I have these wonderful insights into the game. And this is the sort of thing you're missing if you're not tuning in. Corner. Loader with the ball in. Milan at the back post. Torres. Oh, it didn't fall to him. Oh, I thought he was just going to have an open goal to stick that one in. Tosic is there on the ball. They've actually had a shot. It wasn't even good enough to be a highlight, but they have had a shot. So with five minutes to go, it looks like we're going to just only get a draw against CSK. It's Thompson. Oh, my God. That's got to go in. How are we missing these chances? Let's go uh, very attacking is what I wanted to do there for the final couple of minutes. So we're just going to try and force them back. I mean, we've battered them. 20 shots, 8 on target. They've only had 1 and 1 on target. There is a minute left. If it's if we're going to score, it's going to be now. Milan in. Loder's there. It's gone in. It is now that we score. Danny Loder gets the goal. I've celebrated like an old man at a dance. Um, like in a disco. A disco. Fucking ash show. <laughs> I've sneezed halfway through everything. Um... But Milan put in. We didn't actually have that many people in there. But Loder managed to get up. Head. The goalkeeper's gone to punch it. Fluffed it. Got it all completely wrong. And uh, now watch them equalise with this. Oh, Antonio's got in there as well. He's got pace on the left. Loder. Can Loder get an assist as well? Tossage ball in. Easy for Marsan. But that should be the end of the game. 
and that gives us the win we wanted. We left it late. Late drama in Zagreb as we've absolutely dominated this game. Chernov goes back. That's a really, really weird pass. Obviously, Marsan in goal wasn't expecting it as Thompson puts the ball in. Milan is there, heads it. Marsan with an easy save. But that should be fun. They only bought 135 fans. It's not that far from Russia, from Moscow, is it, to Zagreb? I didn't think. But the 92nd minute winner sees us get the win we wanted. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, qualifying is a great achievement. So we have secured our qualification, which I think means if Porto beat Juventus, they are confirmed as well. We get a 2.42. We qualify already. Tosic is just always tired. We're basically resting him after every game. Um... But yes, very, very nice indeed. We are the first team to qualify from Group G. And are we the first team to qualify? Man United have qualified. We've qualified. Wow, we're in we're in here. We're in here. We're doing well. I mean, if we can finish top of the group, which is not out of the realms of possibility, I mean we could be looking at, yeah, Arsenal, Barcelona, PSG. Bayer Leverkusen, Rapid Vienna, yeah, that would be nice. Schalke, I think we could beat them. Olympic Marseille as well. That, that group, that group is a piece of piss. Look at that. Napoli, Olympic Marseille and Salzburg and POK. That is a piece of piss. Unbelievable stuff. But yeah, there we go. We'll be back for the game against Istra. See you then. Okay, so we are back to play Istra and this is how we're lining up. It's exactly the same team. We've just brought in Picard at left back to rest Tosic and Bermudez comes in at right back to rest Milan who drops to the bench. Um, they are missing Liber, the same Liber that we once had back in the early days of this save. Um, he is missing from injury and he's picked up the most yellow cards of the season out of anyone. So, yeah, he's still doing bits in the Croatian First Division. Um, I'm totally expecting us to absolutely batter them, so I'm going to ask them to put in a form, uh, a performance that the fans would be proud of because we should be battering Istra. They really aren't very good. They've never been... I don't think they finished in the top half in quite a long time, so we really should be destroying them, to be honest. Um, in fact, I'm so confident... We're going to go to uh, inside forwards on attack and just say... Well, you can say support because that's your more natural position. But, yeah, we shouldn't really need to defend in numbers. We should be able to, as I said, slow the tempo down, push it forward a little bit, and then keep the ball and work some space. But Leandro has a throw-in for Istra, and I'm going to eat my words if they score from here. Forde fix it on into Leska. Out it goes to Jambula, which is a great name, Leska into Osterek. Osterek has some players on. Bukovic shoots. It falls to Goga and it goes past the post. They've got their wingers have got amazing names. Okay, it's not so Gugo is an amazing name. Oh Jam Jambaraya. Jambaraya is Yeah, okay. They they have a really really cool right back. Um oh we've all we injured Gogo and they bought on Kone. That's a shame. Why are we not playing very well? Why is it all of a sudden my players freeze up on camera? Uh, let's go attacking. Let's try and make something happen. Let's just click. We'll just squeeze them down a little bit. Let's go and get a little bit more urgent. We'll up the tempo a little bit as well. Try and make something happen. I mean, you know, I'm happy for a last minute goal again to get us the win. That really wouldn't annoy me too much. But Thompson into Torres. Marco Antonio turns back to Thompson into Souza. Souza into Giacomo and there we go. He's back from injury with his eighth goal of the season. And uh, yeah, 1-0. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. This, this, this league is easy. I mean, we are struggling. We're not struggling in the league. We're struggling compared to other chances. But Souza just attracted four players to him. Did you come with a little bit of a topo? Goalkeeper can't keep it out. And uh, we find ourselves 1-0 up. But we are back to the top of the league. Uh, this would put us five points clear of Hey Dukes. So if they win, there'd be two points behind us. But, yeah, overall, we're getting back into our stride in the league now. It, it's getting It's getting how it always used to be, I think is the best way to say it. Like, we've dominated this league for so many seasons and... It sort of is clicking towards that happening again. I do think there are players that we could upgrade in this team. Like I said, a new centre-back, which is would be really useful. Uh, maybe a really out-and-out -out winger. But we've got the two. These two that are starting now, Sosa and Forde, are, are both wonder kids. So they're going to be they're going to be good if we can keep hold of them. They're definitely going to progress, uh, and that's what we need to see. As um, Benkovic heads it back into the box, I forgot. Bermudez takes corners when he's on. Um, and he's also meaning to be the person attacking the back post. So we'll have to just look into that. Guard against complacency. Don't don't think the game is won. Let's go into corners. 
uh, attacking. Let's have who's really tall. Six foot, five foot ten, five foot ten, six foot two, six foot one. Let's have the Giacomo attack in the back post for a little bit, like so. Uh, let's go back to our tactics. Uh, everyone's doing okay. Torres not doing brilliantly. I'm going to bring him off and bring on German Lopez, who's been looking for a bit more football. Um, yeah, just uh, we'll go for that for a little bit. I think we can afford to actually drop the tempo down again. We don't really need to be pushing it ever ever so much. Ever so much? That's terrible English. Forde going on a great one. Releases Thompson into Sosa. Sosa shoots and it's blocked. But uh, yeah, I mean, we are the better team quite easily. Giacomo heads that back across really well actually. Sosa was offside. But a throw in. Lopez, the sub who's come on. He's been after a bit more first team football so this is his chance to impress. Thompson's cross is deflected out to Bakovic and they could be in here as he puts Jorgensen in. There's runners here. Kone's in through and Gonzalez makes a good save. Kone gets it back but Bermudez puts in a really good tackle. I feel a bit sorry for Bermudez because he was first choice right back for about two months and then we brought in Milan. So what can you do? Actually he wasn't even that. He was first choice for right back for about two months then we brought in Alberto on loan and then we brought in Milan. So yeah, bless him. But it's not the we're not the do, we're not the all flowing goal scoring force that we once were. Um, I think you know we we possibly still could be if we wanted to. Let's go slightly higher or a much higher tempo. Let's really try and we're going to go for a little bit to go and get in their face and just see um, what happens if we go back into their face. Let's go back to the offside trap as well. Picard has it into Lopez. Lopez into Antonio. Antonio to Thompson. Thompson's shot's blocked. Lopez picks it up. Di Giacomo. Ball in. Looking for Souza. Thompson will get there. Marco Antonio to the edge of the box. His shot is blocked. And it's another corner. And uh, now we've made those changes. Bunis with the ball in. Di Giacomo tries to get there. Is it a penalty? VAR. It is a penalty. Oh, I didn't just change it in time. Who's going to step up and take it? Uh, it is... Oh, German Lopez has missed. Well... That's not the best way to impress me when you want more first team football by missing a penalty. I was going to change it to Gonzalez. I should have probably given it to DJ Como to get his form and fitness back up. Forde is really not settling into this game, so Loda is going to come on for him again. You prefer to be an inside forward on attack, so we'll drop Souza back down to support. Just to give us a bit of better balance in the team as Thompson's there into Forde. Thompson gets it back. He's tackled. Osterek tries to release Matsovic out to Kone on the left hand side. Kone fires it across, Benkovic with a good header away. I think I've done a disservice to Benkovic. We need men in the box because, I mean, that was across to no one. Yeah, Benkovic is playing so much better than his stats suggest he should be as Antonio into Forde. Forde into the box shoots, easy for Nadjernelik uh, to make the save. I'm just wondering if we go... We don't, we're not really getting runners into the box at the moment, so I'm just going to consider doing something like uh, something like this. I think Thompson can do that job pretty well. I know we don't need the goal. That's a foul. Are you already been booked? No. Okay, Sosa picks up a yellow card. I know we don't need to go out on the attack like this, but I feel like we should be doing better against Istra. I mean, they're down in seventh. The, the problem we've got is teams are just defending against us, so we're trying to break them down. We're trying to work work the ball as best we can. Um, again, we don't need to go too full throttle anymore. We're, we're winning the game. Let's not get stupid about it. Um, let's knock the width down. We can drop the tempo down again as well. Um, we'll go for that to, to finish out the second half, hopefully, with, what, up to 10 minutes to go. Thompson hits a free kick into the wall. Gets it back. Ball in, and that's a good claim by... Najenyik in goal. We've got one sub left. Um, Lopez is playing pretty crap, but I've brought him on. Obviously, he's playing absolutely horrendous. Let's bring Contreras on <laughs> um, for a quick change. What else can you do? Let's have you on as a Mazala. Why not? Might leave us a little bit open, but we'll go for it. Um, Sosa's been booked. Thompson hits another free kick into the wall. Loader picks it up into DJ Como. He's offside. He's offside. Nothing's going to come of that. Again, we've only given away two shots on target. Uh, we're playing very very well we really are I'm still going to ask them to do more though but we are playing well I think Lopez I think he's had enough chances to try and impress me I think he needs to go I think we can cash in on him he was high, very highly rated he's got very good stats but yeah I, 
I don't see it ever happening for him here, really. As the ball goes forward, good header down. Deirdre Cameron picks it up. He's got Thompson in the middle. Sozo on the right-hand side. Thompson is there. Good header away from Jamburi. And it looks like we should be seeing this out. Gonzalez goes long, which is odd. Um, according that I've told him to distribute it to the flanks and uh, try and build out from the back. That is very much against team instructions, which probably means they're going to score, because normally when Football Manager does that and avoids all your instructions, they generally score. We get a free kick. That's okay. Matasovic... Uh, is going to be booked for diving, I think. Yes, he is. Good to see, referee. Take a strong stance on that, please. Gonzalez goes long again, but at least he does go for the wings this time as uh, Sosa is pushed by Leandro. So, looks like we're going to see this out pretty comfortably. Bermudez over it. Takes it full time. It's another little comfortable win. Yeah, we missed the penalty. We pretty much dominated them, though. So, um, I could... You have to be much better when we come up against better teams. Yeah, good. I think let's not let the complacency step into the game. But we are five points clear. Hey, Duke have got a game in hand, so that's not uh, too much to worry about. Sosa set for pay increase. That's okay. I don't mind Sosa and Forde getting pay increases. They're, they're both playing quite a lot. Oh, bless him. I'm sad for him. It's a really ill-informed Ill -informed decision from the board. But there we go. Another episode done. This one much more successful uh, than the last episode. It's going very, very well. We are edging ever closer to, to January, so do let me know where you think we need to invest in the squad. Um, do you think I need to upgrade Veselinovic and Benkovic, or should we stick with them uh, and keep going? And did everybody see the little surprise video at the end where I put a blooper in from me recording an intro, which I thought was quite fun? It was these. If you saw it, leave me a comment because. I'm interested to know how many people get to that point in the video, get to that end bit. I know that Brett always does, because I said, if you've got this far in a video, have a cookie. And he once said he's having a cookie. So, um, yeah, let me know. I'm rambling, like I always do. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to be a patron and join these lot, the link's in the description below. You become a member of my backroom staff in the game. They're all doing very well. And Ross, you're still in the job, which is great to see at, uh, at Luco. You haven't been fired yet, so you might have found a new home for you, which is good. Uh, there's merchandise and stuff all available in the link below in the description. But leave me a comment, say hello in the chat. But for now, I'm out. Cheers.